So the first thing we're going to do is something called a lip trill. Okay, and it looks like this. So this is a really good exercise because it helps you to connect to the breath and it helps to keep everything nice and loose as you're working through your voice, okay? So it's really hard to push and hurt your voice while you're doing a lip trill. So it's a really good way to get things moving, get the voice warmed up in a way that you're not gonna hurt yourself, okay? So everyone try that with me. Okay, it can be a little bit tricky to do, so here's a tip. Take two fingers and just gently push on your cheeks a little bit, because if your cheeks are spread, it's gonna be really hard to do it, okay? So you can use those fingers, just push in just a little bit to help keep your lips and your cheeks nice and loose. So try it again with me. Good, and we're gonna do an exercise on that like this. Okay, so I want everyone to try this with me. If you're having a little bit of trouble with the lip trills, you can do this, okay? If you're still really not able to get it, you can do just like a hum to sing along with us for now. Mm, like that sort of sound, okay? So let's try it. Ready, end. So again, that's a really great, great way to warm up your voice, get connected to the breath, get things moving. Awesome. Was everyone able to do that lip trill? Yeah, really awesome. Okay, so next we're going to sing on a hum sound. So I want you guys to try that. Um, think like you're singing on the letter M. Okay, and I want you to slide your voice around on that. Okay, and as we're doing this, I want to make you to make sure that you have a lot of space in your mouth. So try it first with your mouth really flat. Mm. Now try it with a lot of space, like there's a golf ball inside your mouth. Mm. Notice the difference in those two sounds. Let's go back and forth. Mm. That was no space, now lots of space. Good. Okay, so now we're going to do a slide sound on that hum like this. Okay, I want you to focus on moving really slow through those notes, and I want you to feel like you're stretching the sound. Okay, so if you have something nearby that's stretchy that you can use to help you visualize that, you can go ahead and grab that. I have this exercise band that I'm going to use. Okay. So as we're singing, um, either pretend that you have something stretchy or if you can grab something quick and we're going to stretch that sound. Good. We're do a couple more. Try it with me. Very good. Two more. one. Very good. So that humming exercise um, helps to get your voice in a good place that's really buzzy um, and is going to help so that your voice is a little bit louder without pushing it. Okay, so now we're going to take that hum sound a little bit further. Okay, so I want you to do a hum one more time. See if you can feel that buzziness in your mouth. Good. And now sing on an E vowel, like on the word me. Okay, and see if you can feel that same buzziness. So like this. Good. Now do it on the hum. On the E. Is everyone able to feel that buzziness in their mouth as we're singing this? Very awesome. Okay, so now we're going to do um, just two more exercises. So this first one, whoop, we're going to sing on the syllable Z. So can everyone say that with me? Z. 
Okay, hi Jennifer. <laughs> um, and I, as we're doing this, I want you to really focus on keeping that buzziness in your mouth, okay? Um, so we're gonna sing like this. C. Okay, and to focus on having that buzzy sound, I want you to spin your finger in front of your mouth so that you remember to have that buzzy sound in your mouth. So try that with me, ready? And Z. So those are some good exercises to help to warm up your voice, to help to get it in a good place that's nice and buzzy and strong, using the breath, not pushing, okay? 